hey guys welcome back to the channel guys so let's get started here we're going to do your daily time stamps reading guys please keep in mind that these readings are timeless general love readings so they may or may not resonate with you please take what does and leave the rest behind also time is fluid whenever you find this reading you are meant to hear it and there is no gender and tarot reverse the roles as need be cross watchers you are always welcome Guys, your timestamps will be linked in the description box below. And as always, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I post a reading. So let's go ahead and get started. Pisces, welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you today in love. What can my Pisces expect? universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians pisces trust your intuition that there is some type of forward movement here in a situation um you're moving into the next stages in love i feel like you are in this place right now where not that you aren't sure of a situation or aren't sure about someone coming towards you but there is something definitely moving here someone is undecided not sure when or how to make this move but your intuition is already telling you that something is getting ready to happen this person who is undecided could have left you out in the cold with frozen here but they're also finding it very difficult to let you go with this five of wands energy i feel like for some of you guys you dealt with some type of conflict with this individual but i do feel like after this conflict they want to come back towards you look at and remove those blockages. I do feel like this person is planning, plotting and planning a way how to come back and remove any type of blockages and make an amends here for whatever it is that they did to you in the most recent past. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is coming towards my Pisces today in love? So Pisces, if you are manifesting or you're thinking about manifesting, or you might even be thinking about a past manifestation, please understand and keep in mind that whatever it is that you have already manifested or are currently manifesting or getting ready to manifest will be coming towards you sooner than you think. Yep, there goes the, ma the magician and the, manif and the manifestation. Okay, You are manifesting someone back into your life or someone, period, and you're about to get ready. Something's about to get ready to change it for you. There is some movement here there is definitely some blockages being removed you are being told to trust your intuition in this process queen of swords energy expect a very important conversation here with the person who ghosted you in the most recent past now they're wishing hoping and praying that you forgive them and you give them another opportunity in this situation cancer welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you in love for today? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. King of Wands energy, a fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sag, or Aries are coming towards you. This is somebody who looks at you as a catch. Someone that is... I gotta be honest with you. I feel like this person is looking at you as the one... And you see how this woman is holding on to this birdcage? It's like they're going to want to trap you or keep you and not let you go. Okay, you got the star energy here and the two of pentacles. For some of you guys, you might be dealing with multiple people. But you have a decision that needs to be made here. Nevertheless, whatever this decision is, truth be told, it is of wish fulfillment. It's a manifestation and it is going to make you happy. You got this awakening card here. What is this awakening card for my cancer, universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides and guardians? So somebody here has gone through some lessons. So if this is in regards to someone who you are in separation with, this separation was a necessity. It was necessary for this person to learn some divine lessons here. And with this awakening card, I feel like this person is now seeing things very different. I can see clearly now is what I'm hearing. What is this overall energy here for cancer? So six of wands energy cancer. There is definitely some successful forward movement here for you this is a high profile commitment it's something that this is the commitment or relationship that this person is going to constantly tell everyone oh that's my girl that's who i'm with that's who i'm going to marry that's who i'm going to have children with or vice versa that's my guy that's my person that's my forever 
this person could have left you out in the cold in the most recent past. Or maybe at the beginning when you guys first met, they weren't too invested in this situation. But look at here, Six of Cups energy, they're coming back. They want to reunite with you. They see you as their soulmate. They see you as the one. You're, you're being looked at as what a catch. Like this individual has a lot of passion and I just heard necessity to come towards you. So Eight of Wands energy definitely expects some fast forward movement here. I feel like this individual is going to want to rush this reconciliation. It's going to go from, yes, we're back together to now we're moving in together to let's get married. And maybe eight weeks later, we're pregnant. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what advice do we have for Cancer here? Knight of Pentacles energy. For some of you guys, you've waited a very long time for this stable love or this stable commitment to come towards you. You did a lot of uh, cleanup. You cut a lot of karmic ties. You released a lot of things that did not work for you anymore. You did a lot of inner work. And this is why universe is now bringing you in this very stable, committed situation. Queen of Pentacles energy. You might be dealing with an earth sign who has a lot of fire in their chart or a fire sign who has a lot of earth in their chart. But this is a situation that I would definitely take a leap on. Scorpio, welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and see. What is coming towards my Scorpio and love for today? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What can Scorpio expect today here? You too. What a catch. Overall energy. This was Cancer's energy as well. Somebody is looking at you as you are the one. Five of Pentacles energy. I do feel like this person left you out in the cold in the past. Or you could have left them out in the cold. But I feel like someone here is coming towards you insisting on this union. Somebody here was holding back their feelings in the recent past. So Scorpio, take it for whatever way it resonates for you. This could very well have been you. You were holding back from this situation, kind of leaving somebody out in the cold. And this person sees you as the one or vice versa. But there is definitely a breakthrough, some clarity and some honesty that is going to be given today. Which is going to ultimately allow a new beginning in this situation. Page of Wands energy. So you are going to be getting a message today from this person that is on your mind. For some of you guys, this is definitely someone who you in the most recent past were not interested in pursuing. Or maybe they weren't interested. But there, something had to happen here in this time of disconnect between you and this individual. That there was a lot of soul searching that occurred. This could have very well been you. I don't know why, Scorpio. But I feel like for some of you guys... You met someone who was a complete sweetheart who treated you right. And then you kind of like ghosted this individual because he or she was not the type of person that you were accustomed to dealing with. Or remember, this could have very well been their energy. But look, at there's marriage behind all of this. There is definitely marriage. I do feel like you have a soulmate here who is wanting to come back into your life. Or maybe you're wanting to go back into their life. And look it. With this ripped apart energy, I feel like somebody ex experienced what it is not to have that other person in their life anymore. Or what it is to lose a beautiful, abundant opportunity with someone who's a good individual. So with rejection here and ripped apart, there's about to be a new leap of faith that's going to be given here. So if you're the one that experienced this rejection and you felt very vulnerable in this situation... Or something could have been exposed as your true feelings, maybe angers and the resentment. Regardless to whatever it is that has gone on in this situation, I see someone coming back in. And this individual is going to want to take a leap of faith with you. And they're looking at this as a four of wands energy. Them uniting with their soulmate, having a beautiful life with them, building a foundation with them. And, you know, bringing children into the world, growing old together. So, Cancer, prepare yourself. Someone is coming back towards you and they want to have... A conversation with you Aries welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards my Aries and love for today what can they expect universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what can they expect the eight of cups energy here being left out in the cold walking away from a situation and being left out in the cold what is this for Aries Somebody walked away from a relationship because they were focusing on their money. They, they, foc they decided to focus on money over love. 
So whoever walked away from you in the recent past and might have left you out in the cold, they did it because they needed to focus on something else, some form of stability here. But with the justice, I feel like someone is coming back to rectify this. What is this universe? Yeah, five of swords energy. <sighs> and queen of wands energy. What is this? can't be trusted so whoever left you out in the cold and they stated that they walked away because they were focusing on money for some of you guys you heard about a third party okay um you heard about somebody interfering in your connection and causing some type of animosity i do feel like when this person comes back towards you you're going to find it very difficult to trust them. Why is this universe? Because of what they did to you. They want this victory. They want this success. They want to tell everybody about your relationship and what you guys are going to be doing moving forward. But you, with this can't be trusted energy here, you're going to block yourself from a lot of, the, uh, a lot of this relationship. I feel like if this person comes in and they insist on rectifying things with you and, and winning you back, you're just going to be like, yeah, 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 whatever. Go ahead. We'll see what happens. Like, you're not going to put too much of your energy in this. You're going to block yourself from this. And the reason is, is because you feel like you can't trust this person anymore. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What advice do we have here for my Aries in regards to this? Cold as ice. I feel like what's going to end up happening here, Aries, is that this person that comes back and tries to fight and win you, you might be the one that's going to end this situation with them. You might be the one to actually leave them out in the cold now. Why is this? Seven of Pentacles energy. Because in this time of separation, I'm not going to lie, I feel like you have um, transformed. You're no longer interested in this situation. I feel like this person could have even told you in the past, I'm going to walk away right now because I got to deal with this or I got to do this or I got to do that. And you found out that they were up to some other other situations or dating other people. And that to you was a total betrayal. So now that this person comes back in and now that they want to fix this with you, Aries, you're actually looking at them like, uh, absolutely not. Okay. I've already gotten past this. I've already healed from this. I've already grown from this. I don't want this situation anymore here. So with the five of pentacles energy, you're the one that's going to be leaving this person out in the cold. So I got to be honest with you. For some of you guys, you were just waiting for this to happen because it's like you want to speak your mind to be able to close the door on this situation. And I also feel like for a lot of you guys, your intuition has been telling you that this person's coming back, but you're going to use this opportunity to close the cycle with this person already. Hey, Leo. Welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you in love today. What's the T? So you might get some gossip today in regards to the person that is on your mind. What is going on with this universe? Leo, you might get you might get a message or you might get some communication today that there's actually going to be an opportunity for you and for this person to reunite. Page of Pentacles energy. Why? Because there's going to be a message that's going to come through. Wow, a lot of cards flipped. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. There's a message that's going to be sent to you today. And this message is actually going to express to you that there is an opportunity here for you and this person to unite. For a new beginning in love. For some of you guys, you manifested this second chance with this person. After a very hard breakup separation or a lot of remorse and regret. And with this four of wands, there's an opportunity of marriage here with you and this person. Universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. I also feel like this is a soulmate that was meant to come back into your life. For whatever reason, you and this person could not unite or go forward with the relationship in the past. But now it's going to be given that opportunity. What's going on here? So page of swords. Clarity is coming in. An offer is coming in today, Leo. Leo. What's going to happen here, universe? Somebody walked away initially from this connection in the past because they had to focus on their finances here. Maybe even have to deal with some type of karmic partner, karmic cycles, or release some type of codependency here. With the two of swords energy, 
I'm not taking these cards in the reverse, but that one ended up coming out in the reverse. So I feel like something is about to be unblocked. So if you block this person or they blocked you, that's about to be removed. You ghosted them, they ghosted you. That's about to be a thing of the past here. You left them out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. That's something from the past here because I do feel like in the recent past, somebody was not awoken to this situation yet. But there's been some major changes here because look at soulmates, lovers, attraction, twin flame, ten of pentacles. Someone's achieved that stability that they had walked away for initially. And the Eight of Swords energy. And even though it caused a lot of heartache and a lot of pain, but someone had to take the initiative to walk away from this connection. And now they're coming back because they do have the stability that is needed to move forward in this connection. What is the outcome here? Someone is going to have some inner conflicts. I'm not going to lie. Maybe this person is going to still be holding on to something from the past that you could have did or said to them. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I do see you and this individual reuniting, reconciling, moving forward and even getting married here this is your soulmate that's coming back into your life for whatever apparent reason things could not happen in the past but now you will be given this second opportunity here for you and this person to achieve these ten of pentacles and ultimately achieve this marriage and the reason is somebody manifested this connection back together all right leo i hope and pray that gave you clarity i'll talk to you guys soon sagittarius welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you and love for today? What is going on with my Sagittarius universe? Archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is coming towards Sagittarius for today and love? What can they expect? Strength, fire energy, your energy. Eight of Cups energy. Hmm. judgment so Sagittarius what I'm getting for you today in love is that someone here has been taming their energies someone here has been I feel like someone has been trying to look the other way but you're past that looking the other way there's somebody's walking away today this can be you or this can be your person but I honestly feel that this is you with the strength energy here you're making a decision to walk away from a situation that just does not serve a purpose for you. And with this judgment card here, it's because whatever you are currently or whomever it is that you're currently dealing with, it's not the person that you want to be with. It's not the person that you ultimately viewed yourself growing old with. You could have made a, a, a grave mistake and pursued a connection that at one point made sense. But now that you see all the conflict, all the obstacles, and all the unnecessary drama that you've been dealing with. I do feel like today, Friday, December the, what, the, the 30th, is it going to be? Or the, no, December the 29th. It could very well happen on the 30th because I mentioned it. But you're making a decision to walk away from this situation here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what is going on with Sagittarius here, please? You're walking away from a situation that does not serve a purpose for you because you are actually moving towards a reunion with somebody else, a union with a soulmate here. Some, look, at you got the soulmate twice. So there is a situation that is going to come in rather quickly for you once you decide to walk away from the situation that doesn't serve a purpose for you. Because I feel like you have found it very difficult to let go of someone else from your past. Now, guys, please keep in mind, reverse the energies. This can very well be your person that is in a relationship, and they're the ones that are needing to walk away from that. And this is just a sign that universe is giving you that this person is finally walking away from that. But I, I got to be honest with you guys, I feel like it's you. I feel like you decided to move to a situation that just didn't, at one point in your life, could have made sense, but now... In retrospect, after you've lived some type of conflict with this person, after you've dealt with a lot of drama or unnecessary problems, I feel like today you're making a decision to walk away. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't see, I don't see you staying single that long. You're going to go right from 
this shit show and shenanigans over here to this beautiful passion and new beginning here with the soulmate with someone from your past someone that you could have very well left out in the cold for the wrong one okay but you needed to learn this lesson you needed to go through that in order to re to recognize that whom you're supposed to be with is ultimately this person from your past all right guys i hope and pray that this gave you clarity and i'll talk to you soon gemini welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you today in love what is my gemini going to be dealing with today in regards to love universe archangels a spirit angel guides and guardians please help gemini give them clear and concise messages what is coming towards them in love today a queen of wands energy hmm. you're getting a message today from a fire sign here uh, could be a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but somebody is is making an offer here to you today. I feel like this is a new connection, but this is a soulmate, my loves. This is someone who you are meant to be with. I feel like this is somebody completely new. This isn't someone from your past because from the jump, this page of Pentacles came out, and to me, that's new energy. That's a, a young relationship. That's someone that you haven't dealt with. What is this lessons here? Yeah, no. I feel like for some of you guys, you've been single for uh, quite a bit here, okay? Um, but I do feel like in this time of separation or in this time that you have dealt with yourself and only yourself and you dealt with the rejection from a past person, you learned some divine lessons. You learned a lot of things in this time of isolation. And now out of nowhere here, Gemini, there is a queen of wands coming towards you. And I feel like this person is going to be very persistent. And let me tell you why. Because this individual has also gone through their fair share of bullshit here. Knight of Swords energy. But they've also healed from that. Okay. I feel like this person that's going to come into your life or it may already be there. It's someone who... I got to be honest with you, for some of you guys, it may, it may seem like, man, they're a little bit obsessive because they want to be with me all the time and they want to hang out with me. But no, this is someone that is very persistent on wanting to spend time with you, okay? This is someone who wants to create a new path with you, a new world with you. They want all the newness with you. You might even feel a little bit um, stressed because you're like, damn, this person really just wants to hang out and I just want to sleep. Be patient with this process if indeed you are looking to move into a new situation because I feel like this is going to be one of those relationships that keep in mind all those all those divine lessons that you learned in the time of isolation. You're going to be using those lessons at this time. Okay, so be patient. As I just told you, stay in a balanced energy. Try to go, try to go with the flow in this situation because I, I, I got to be honest with you. This new person that's coming into your life, you might have felt stuck for a while or felt lonely, but they're going to give you a new perspective in relationships. You're going to know what it is to have somebody want to um, attend to you, um, always be good with you, always be passionate with you, be very um, emotional with you, be very... Um, touchy-feely with you you might not be accustomed to that okay with the seven of wands energy you may even build a boundary between you and this person because you're not used to somebody always wanting to hold your hands or kiss on you and hug on you this is just going to be a working progress for you eight of pentacles energy this is something i gotta be honest with you this person even though that like, they might seem like a lot and they might need a lot of attention i gotta be honest this person was divinely guided to come into your life here okay and it's because maybe you were in a place right now where you felt kind of disconnected maybe even bored this person's coming in to shake shit up for you what is the outcome here fool you're being told to take this leap of faith with this person gemini this is a new opportunity it's a new beginning for you i feel like at the beginning it's gonna be a little bit stressful because you're gonna be like damn like oh i'm not used to all of this i'm not used to all of this attention but it will be a working progress you will get there eventually just be patient with this process Libra, welcome back, guys. So let's see. What is coming towards my Libra today in love? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is coming towards Libra in love for today? So we got the moon. Expect the unexpected here. I feel like someone's coming towards you to express love. What is this overall energy here for my Libra universe? What is this moon? 
a king of wands energy libra someone's coming towards you they want to express some love let's see here i feel like this person is going to be very passionate persistent let's see here what is this king of wands energy here for libra universe unawoken two of swords energy i don't know why that card keeps coming out in the reverse but this is somebody who first of all i feel like you're the one that's unawoken two of swords energy you're the one that's going to get this communication very unexpectedly here from a fire sign who honestly you never expected to see yourself uniting with or reuniting with because i do feel like this is someone from your past that is coming towards you very unexpected. Again, a fire sign energy, the sun energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, primarily Leo energy here. What is this? Yeah, this person could have left you out in the cold. I feel like this person could have put you in a situation, abandoned you, stopped talking to you, two of pentacles energy. They could have even been juggling you with somebody else. Maybe they were undecided. They didn't know who to move forward with or who to pursue in a connection here or what to do. So what did they end up doing? This person ended up disconnecting from this relationship. They had to go through some type of um, dark night of the soul thing. Like It's like this individual. They were experiencing with a lot of other people in sexual encounters here. I feel like this individual in the past, they did not know what they wanted. They were very undecisive in this connection. Maybe they were the ones that were unawoken. Whoever it is that you were dealing with in the past, and I got to be very honest with you, Libra, you're not expecting this person to come towards you. You really are not. This is someone who is going to kind of come out of left field. You'll be like, what the? Where did you come from? They're coming back, okay? Ace of Swords energy because they've gone through some type of breakthrough. After this dark night of the soul, after feeling this emptiness and disconnect, can I tell you something? This person pursued multiple different people but never found the connection they had with you with those other people. Those were empty relationships, empty situations for them. And now this individual is in this place where they've gone through an epiphany moment. They're going through a breakthrough and now they want to be clear with you and honest with you as to why they did what they did to you in the past. Justice energy, I feel like someone here wants to come in. And make things right with you. And even if you decide not to move forward with this person, it is a necessity. It's like somebody that goes to AA, okay? Somebody that is trying to heal themselves from some type of toxicity. One of their steps into overcoming their problem is going back and trying to rectify things with people that they've broken relationships with or done things to so i feel like this person is in that that healing process and they want to come in and they want to heal this with you they've gone through a major major transformation and they're no longer the individual that you once knew that's not them anymore you're talking about somebody who literally is the same built the same height the same person face and name but a completely different spiritual individual you are not going to expect this communication i feel like for some of you guys you might not you might already be in another situation you might already be in another relationship but this person is coming back because they have to mend some bridges with you this is something that they need to do for their overall peace and for your overall peace and for some of you guys you, hey, you might even start up a connection with them again because now they're a different individual all right guys i hope and pray this gave you clarity and i'll talk to you soon aquarius welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards my aquarius and love for today universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what can my Aquarius expect today regarding love? What is coming towards them? Wishing, replaying events. What is this? Ace of Wands energy. So Aquarius, in the past, I got to be very honest with you guys. And please take this message for whomever resonates. Not everyone's going to resonate with this. So please don't come back and... and Rip me a new one. But in the recent past, Aquarius, you were suffering in silence, okay? You would constantly be replaying events on how things used to be with this person. On 
what should have happened with this person on the plans that you guys had for the future okay you were in this nostalgic energy now for some of you guys you've sparked up new relationships new friendships you're on to new beginnings but you have been wishing hoping and praying for a passion and new beginning here with someone in your past because there goes the three of cups energy there is a reason for celebration there is a reconciliation coming in you might even have children with this person or you planned to have children with this person but you are reconciling here with someone you were wishing in the past you were wishing so hard this person would come towards you, but he or she could not come into this connection because they weren't ready, they weren't available, or something something else in their internal or in their external was holding them back from this. But look, and not no more, my love. Not no freaking more. Chariot energy here. Someone is coming towards you. They want to forge towards victory and success with you. Six of Swords energy. This person is making a plan. Aquarius, please do not be surprised today when this person shows up at your doorstep or all of a sudden you pick up your phone out of nowhere and you find a message from this individual. Someone here is coming back towards you. They have made a decision. They are walking away from their past, their past actions, their past consequences, and they're coming towards you to renew this love here, Aquarius. Four of Pentacles energy, even though this person could have moved on, moved forward, done something else, or you could have done that, they have never been able to let you go. And with the Two of Cups energy, they always knew that at the end of the day, you were their soulmate and they were meant to come towards you and reunite with you. It was just a matter of time. So King of Swords energy here, Aquarius, someone is coming back to you and they're going to bring in a lot of clarity a lot of truth it is going to be an emotional conversation it might even lead into a minor argument because for whatever reason or whatever it is that this person did to you they ripped you apart they put you through a lot of pain and i feel like they have to come back and they have to answer for what they did to you it took them a while for some of you guys i just heard it took them a long time to come back in but look it you manifested this person now they're manifesting you as as hard as you were manifesting them in the past now they're manifesting you because they want you back they want to move this connection back into alignment and they want to resolve whatever issues and conflicts you guys have going on this person from your past i'm not gonna lie could have broken your heart on so many levels but they're coming back because they just can't live without you. You're their person. They have not been able to let go of you. And they need you. They need you. As hard as you were wishing here, they need you that hard in their life now. Taurus, welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you in love for today. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Taurus, you're going to reconcile today. Six of Cups energy. Someone from your past is coming towards you. You have very fond memories of this person. I don't know why, Taurus, but I got to be very honest with you. I feel like this is a connection that <sighs> came in so fast. It was like this beautiful wish fulfillment, and it was over before you knew it. Okay? It was over before you knew it. See, you found yourself single literally right after this connection came into your life. You're going to be given an opportunity here. You're being divinely guided back towards this direction with this person. I got to be very honest with you, Taurus. I feel like someone here has not been able to forget you. Okay, you are always a very vivid thought in this person's mind process okay they think about you constantly i'm not gonna say every day but they do think about you constantly and they wonder how you're doing this person is gonna rush back in okay there's a sudden they're taking a sudden action towards you or towards this can very well be you but someone is definitely moving towards a direction in this connection this is with a leo okay taurus this is someone who who was very passionate about you, was very emotional about this connection, or you were very emotional about this connection. This Leo walked away from you. I feel like this Leo walked away from you, this fire sign energy. Now, guys, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Leo because this can very well be a water sign with the Eight of Cups energy here. But someone walked away because they left to go deal with a karmic partner. They still had to go back and bring some resolution to one of their past situations. It's like you met this person, I feel like at the right at the, at the right place, wrong time, 
okay and now it's the right time for you and this individual so with the frozen energy here either you Taurus left this person out in the cold and you decided to walk away or they walked away from you because Either one of these people, whether it's you or them, had to go back to rectify something here with a karmic partner. Now, for some of you guys, this karmic partner is a Leo here, okay? You had to go back and deal with someone from your past and resolve that situation before you can even move forward with this new person. Like I said, as soon as you met this person, you were in a relationship and in a blink of an eye, of an eye you found yourself single again. Okay, and it was because somebody had made a choice to walk away from this connection and kind of leave it out in the cold here. So I feel like both you and this person, honestly, I'm going to say both of you guys were hiding your feelings regarding this connection. You guys did not want to hurt anymore. You both decided to walk away from this. And now there's going to be an opportunity here to really, really, really give this relationship the proper chance, the proper respect, the proper abundance it, it deserves. You have a beautiful, steady new beginning coming in here. And this, I just heard, this is a great love for you. This is a, a great, one of those great relationships that honestly, Taurus, you're going to grow old with this person. You are really going to grow old with this person. You guys met at the, at the wrong time. And now you guys are going to start dating again. I feel like there's a, there's a relationship here that was never really given the opportunity to grow. It was like it was put on, on the back burner. But now there's a return. Feeling the, needy, the, the need, hopefully they'll return. Somebody is going to come back. Okay, and I feel like you guys are going to start over again and be like, okay, you know what? Clean slate. We couldn't make it happen in the past, but now we're going to make it happen in the future. Okay, there was a lot of heartache here. I feel like there could have even been some interference from friends, family members, or even just a physical third party. But whatever it was, it did cause a lot of pain. You and this person are going to end up leaving the past in the past, letting bygones be bygones and start dating again. There's going to be a second chance here given to you, Taurus, in a relationship that was never given the opportunity to blossom Virgo welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards my Virgo today in love what's coming towards Virgo in love for today a new beginning a new opportunity a new leap of faith a world a new world of possibilities and this comes in out of nowhere I just heard comes in straight out of left field Okay, you might have felt a little bit discouraged. Um, you felt a little bit lonely with the hangman in the reverse shit. You felt left out in the cold, five of pentacles energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, and no offense in any which way, shape, or form, but for a lot of you guys, you felt like people weren't even checking you out. Or people weren't paying attention to you. And if you went out on a date with someone, this person would ghost you and not contact you again. But this is about to change here for you. This is about to change. What is this can, can't be trusted energy? Ace of Swords energy. Virgo, whatever it is that you have gone through in your recent past, you got to let that go. Because this is a new beginning. This is a very truthful new beginning. I feel like whoever it is that you're about to get ready to deal with, this person is going to be clear as day with you they're going to tell you what their intentions are they're going to be very honest with you like i feel like this person has no reasons to hold back and tell you how they're really feeling but you because you've dealt with multiple shitty individuals it's like you kind of expect people to come in and you not be able to trust them and don't do that to, to yourself because you're going to already set yourself up for disaster you see how you yourself with this blindfold here you already automatically assume like oh shit this is going to be forbidden or they're probably in another relationship or my family members aren't going to like them so on and so forth no when you walk into this new opportunity forget whatever has happened in your past you need to act like you have never dated anybody your entire lifetime this is new this is fresh this is true this is clear this is this is i just heard this is heaven sent so you're about to meet somebody that's going to make you very very happy virgo universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians this person might have children or you have children or they're going to want children. But they also have like this very innocent childlike energy. They don't take 
and burdens that easily. So if you're accustomed to dealing with melodramatic individuals that even a fly passes them in front of their face and they take that as the total universe disrespect, this person just lets shit fly off, uh, just roll off their shoulders. They do not pay attention to unnecessary drama. So you're going to be dealing with someone who actually has a very innocent way of doing things because they don't deal well well with with burdens and un, unnecessary drama. So if you're accustomed to dealing with that, please understand, I'm going to tell you very clearly that this individual is not going to deal with that. So the melodramatics need to be left in a whole other situation on a whole other planet. Six of Cups energy, as I said, a, a childlike energy, not a child um, attitude or childish attitude, but a childlike energy. I do feel like this person is going to feel very familiar to you. That's probably why you feel a little bit scared here, but not familiar to the point that it is someone from your past, but there's just an energy about this person that you're going to feel as if you're right at home, as if you've already known them. And the reason is, is because this is a past lifetime relationship that is coming into this lifetime because there's still, you guys are still meant to move forward together. So you're about to take a new leap of faith with somebody completely new. If you're holding on to some type of negativity from your past or some type of fears, I am here to tell you, please let that go because this person is not going to, is not going to deal with unnecessary drama. I do got to be very honest with you. They take life as it goes and they do not feed into in, in into unnecessary bullshit okay so this is someone who is meant to be in your life this is a soulmate and this is someone that i feel like you're going to learn how to grow with you're going to learn how to love with and you're also going to learn how not to take on unnecessary drama or burdens from others okay all right guys i hope and pray this gave you clarity and i'll talk to you soon capricorn welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you in love for today? What is coming towards my Capricorn in love for today? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Capricorn, someone's going to invite you on a date today. There's an invitation that's coming towards you, and it's perfect. It's Friday, date night. You're going to get to know somebody new here. This could very well be a fire sign energy. You are going to find this person very, very attractive, but I got to be honest with you. They find you to be this ultimate queen of wands energy. Like everything about you is picture perfect for this individual. Okay. They, before they even, before they even get to go to second base with you, this individual already sees you as a soulmate. They are highly, highly attracted to you. When you guys go out on this date today, you're going to feel a very magnetic connection with this individual. And it's going to be one of those situations where, truth be told, you're even going to be like, what the hell? Where did this emotion come from? And you're even going to be like, ah, it's probably the full moon acting out and making me feel like this. No, it's actually two partners that are meant to come together are finally being united and that's that magnetic attraction between you and this individual this is emotions coming out of nowhere for some for some of you guys you were manifesting love into your life you could have even been manifesting someone from your past but universe is presenting you the right person at the right time for the right for for the right reasons this person that is coming into your life this person that has asked you for a date this person that you you could have already just you know you could have already known them they just finally got the got the balls to ask you for a date um i feel like this individual is just just the one that you're meant to be with okay this individual is going to give you a whole new perspective in love you're going to know what it is to not have to make sacrifices in a relationship anymore. Okay. You know, you're going to know what it is to be in a situation where you're not going to feel like you're stuck. There's something about this individual that he or she will alleviate all these seven of swords energy that for a very, very long time you dealt with. So if you were, not that you were accustomed to, but if you were in situations where you constantly got backstabbed or cheated on or disrespected or left out in the cold, this individual is going to show you how not to feel like that. This person is going to show you how to feel like this beautiful queen of wands energy. You can wake up in the morning with one of your eyelashes stuck to the top of your forehead and your weave hanging off the fucking crack of your ass. Okay. But this person is going to find you sexy as fuck. They're not going to care. You're about to meet the person that honestly, 
I heard this quote a long time ago in one of my most favorite movies, in the Medea movie. The lady said that this person was divinely guided for you. This person was only made for you. This person's heartbeat will beat at the same time as your heartbeat. Okay, so guys, you're about to go on a date with the right one at the right time and the one that you're going to grow old with. This is your soulmate. This is one of those relationships that it's considered to be the love of a lifetime. All right, guys, I really do hope and pray that this relationship gave you the clarity that you needed or this. Well, yeah, this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.